local Colorado group that was created to save Casa Bonita. Casa Bonita the new South Park. Casa Bonita, Casa Bonita. South Park hurt or help drive business. And Matt goes, okay, I don't want you to get too excited to become part of the Casa Bonita. We actually put in an offer first. Actually filed an objection in court. And you will respect my authority. To stop the sale of the popular Colorado restaurant to Trey Parker and Matt Stone. I want to see if he just come myself South Park joke. Cas Bonita opened in Lakewood, Colorado during 1974 as part of the Mexican-themed entertainment restaurants chain founded by Bill Wah. It was the fourth restaurant of the chain which originally started in Oklahoma. The restaurant's theme is replicating that of a small Mexican village during a festival, essentially bringing Mexico to Colorado. It is considered an icon in Colorado loved by locals and many, including the South Park creators, who have expressed their fondness of the restaurant and the memories they had there growing up. Cas Bonita is well known for its unique theme being unlike any other restaurant, having a waterfall resembling that of the cliffs of Acapulco, with participants diving off into the pool below and even having fire jugglers performed there. Being a favourite with kids and families and known for his canteen menu of all-you-can-eat chicken and beef plates, if only the guests knew who the chef was. <laughs> Oh, they're up. Why Caspinita is important to South Park. Caspinita was heavily featured in the South Park episode titled, get this, Casabonita, which aired in the seventh season in 2003. But this isn't the only time the restaurant has been mentioned in the show. Others include Quest for Ratings, You Have Zero Friends, 201, Let Go, Let Gov, and even the Fractured Butthole DLC, where you could actually explore the whole restaurant and get the shits from its notoriously bad food. Trey and Matt first brought up the idea of buying the restaurant as early as 2012. Parker told The Hollywood Reporter, it came up for sale and we had 10 minutes of like, we should buy it. We've actually yeah. been working on this a long time. Yeah. Before I knew it was possible, the first conversation we had is a phone ring and Matt goes, okay, I don't want you to get too excited. There's a chance we could become part owners of Casa Bonita and I had to pull over the car. This is due to the creators having expressed their love for the restaurant and how it was a dream to go there as a kid. When you're a kid, God damn it, it seemed like the best, it seemed like the best place in the world. The bankruptcy war of Caspinita. In March 2020, the Lakewood, Colorado location closed temporarily due to COVID-19. Earlier this month, the restaurant's parent company filed for bankruptcy. Court documents show Casa Bonita faces $4.4 million in debt. And the restaurant's website going offline, foreshadowing the worst for Caspinita. On April 6th, the owner's Summit Family Restaurants filed for bankruptcy. It wasn't until a few months had passed that Trey and Matt would announce in late August that they had struck a deal to purchase the restaurant with a sale agreement of 3.1 million. But they weren't the only ones trying to buy the restaurant and had many competitors, including a group called Save Caspinita, run by this man. I don't want to see it be just come a South Park joke or a South Park. Uh, fun land. Uh, Caspinita doesn't need South Park. Who is the final boss for Matt and Trey as he admits to having been to Caspinita 300 times. Crazy, I've been coming since 1974. It's a feast, it's a festival, it's a feastival. Got the fajita upgrade. I just had my 300th visit to Casa Bonita in 2019. But say, why is he so proud about that? He's basically admitting he's had diarrhea 300 times. Does he also have a banner in his bathroom to celebrate each time with confetti? I mean, who counts how many times they've been to a restaurant anyway? Do you think Bruce Valange is the way he's been to McDonald's 9 million and 42 times? So I put together a group of restaurateurs, creatives, advocates, all to help try to save Casa Bonita. Who filed an objection against Parker and Stone's sale agreement as they put an offer down first. So really it was the landlord's preferred buyer that got uh, the sale. And so we find that that's uh, highly objectionable. Giving a higher sum of 3.5 million, resulting in it being a decision that would be decided in court on who would be the new owners of Caspinita. Objection to the sale was later withdrawn for the group Save Caspinita. Caspinita's current owner, Summit Family Restaurants Inc. submitted a reply asking the court to overrule Save Caspinita's objection and approve the sale to Parker and Stone, saying that 3.1 million is a fair price. They coerced the, um, the ownership into selling to their group, it's an unfair practice. What's interesting about this is Save Caspinita had provided no proof of funds, which makes sense if you look at their fundraising page, which was quite far off the money they claimed to have. Meaning Matt and Trey officially owned the restaurant as of December 19th, 2021. We've, we've come to uh, an agreement with the owner and we bought it. Yeah. Congratulations! Oh. Trey rarely shows emotion, but even he couldn't contain his excitement, grinning with glee from the announcement that their childhood hangout he now officially owned, which must have been a very proud moment for the pair. With Parker even stating, I want to buy Caspinita and treat it right. I feel like it was neglected even before the pandemic. The show's effect on Caspinita. 
Before the episode of Caspanita began development, Trey called the owner of Caspanita and asked if they could use the name and likeness in their show, with the owner being hesitant that South Park was going to insult or demoralize the restaurant, with Parker quoting, Oh, are you gonna rip on Caspanita? It's like, how can we rip on Caspanita? It was like, that was your dream as a kid to be able to go to Caspanita for your birthday. Caspanita let us use their name, the episode which makes them even cooler. From South Park's impact to the show, it's brought a whole new influx of fans to the restaurant, even having a seating area now being referred to as the Cartman table. That's the Cartman table, right? That is correct. And hidden South Park characters scattered around the restaurant, such as Cartman hid on top of the cliffs and a Kyle in jail. Clearly, the show had a big impact on fans and has seen a big boost in visitors since the episode aired. South Park hurt or helped drive business? A South Park definitely helped business. Yeah. Uh, and as a matter of fact, when it re-airs, we see a uh, ton of business every time. Why Matt and Trey saved Caspanita? It's no secret the South Park creators are insanely rich and even featured in Forbes' richest list, with them striking a 950 million Viacom deal to make South Park up until season 30 with 14 TV movies. This new venture that IndieWire reports is a great way to diversify the pair's portfolio and a way to use money for a good cause. In a time when so many people are struggling, especially in food service, we've been rich for a long time. We have nice houses and cars. Even this giant deal won't change my day-to-day. I'm not going to buy a new watch. We use the proceeds from this to invest. It will definitely be an interesting visit for Trey Park on opening night. As Trey once mentioned, he had a private party for Book of Mormon there and wasn't allowed to see the cliff dive. No, you can't do it. You'd have to own the place. <laughs> <laughs> Trey's gonna belly flop off that thing. Apparently, the Frey also had a private party there and was the inspiration for the song You Found Me when the lead singer got lost in Black Bart's cave. Hey, look at that, you found me, you found me. I don't know why I made it more British than me. The South Park creators have expressed they don't want to change the theme. After the mayor said, You promised us that cliff driving gorillas will remain. A saying, I'm guessing he's had to say a lot in power. I mean, All the two guys stuff. in gorilla suits running yeah. around. Yeah. The restaurant was even rumored to be South Park themed. I believe it will have South Park elements and people may be in luck as the blueprints show a section called Cartman's. And I can imagine the gift shop having some sort of South Park memorabilia, especially because of an article recently posted about custom South Park license plates being auctioned at the restaurant. The nightmare renovations of Caspanita. When Trey and Matt agreed to purchasing the restaurant, they had no clue what they were getting themselves into and how costly it would be renovating the restaurant from the price they initially paid. Three million bucks to buy Casa Bonita last year. Well, they told concert goers they're now looking at paying another 15 million just for so-called back of the house. Parker even states, have you ever seen Kitchen Nightmares? It's the very worst one of those you could ever possibly imagine. What we thought would be, oh, this will be cool. You can buy this and open it and it'll be around again. Turn into, oh, this is going to be what we have to put all our money into and hope that it works. With him even leaving out the most gritty work, which had to be done. Two days scraping dead rats and pigeons off of the enormous roof. Get this, they're also dealing with some sewage problems and carpets so brown, they look like dirt floors. It's carpet. Holy shit. Matt and Trey were so overwhelmed that Matt even said we should bail. Let's return this and get our, get our money back. <laughs> Previous owners deferred maintenance in an almost superhuman way, said Stone. They just didn't care of anything and they ran it completely to the ground. Those owners, some of the family restaurants, couldn't be reached for comment. Maybe Cartman locked them in the bomb shelter. Parker and Stone asked the judge to help them keep some documents like permits, applications, and building plans from being released to the public. And with all things I've just listed, I don't blame them. What the future holds for Casa Bonita. Casa Bonita, since the deal, has been a full-blown construction site. But making some major renovations to the kitchens, bathrooms, dive pool. With the Denver Post quoting, it has a crew of 80 people daily trying to remedy the building, which Stone and Parker said have been severely neglected. We're talking about just health and safety stuff. Like, so someone won't die. We are going to do everything we can. We want to make it right and make it amazing. With one of the biggest changes being the food, which has been classed by many as revolting. You know, it's I bad when I, when I took my daughter when she was four and she was like, oh. <laughs> the new appointed chef at the restaurant, Dana Rodriguez, couldn't believe when she got the call. When they call me about to be the chef there, I'm like, yeah, sure. That was a joke. Rodriguez will oversee the kitchen and says, we will improve everything, but change nothing. Caspanita means so much to many people here in Denver. I'm excited to work with Trey and Matt. Parker and Stone said quality of the food would be a top priority, but this may inspire the pair to renovate other restaurants in the future, such as Cartman's House, I mean Coney Island, which inspired Cartman's House in the show. As Stone did say, I told Les Claypool a premise about the hot dog and he flipped out. He was like, you have to buy the hot dog. We don't have any money left over. It's all going into Caspanita, said Parker. I would love to buy the hot dog and put it in the parking lot of Caspanita. I think that would be amazing. Anyone else that wants to buy Caspanita, they wouldn't have made it because this is going to cost so much and it's really dumb, said Parker. 
Soccer, we absolutely should bail and stop spending money, but we're committed now. With 12 mil on renovations, 550 wanted for hire, and 15 mil just for back of house, no surprise only Trey and Matt could pull this off. And with the new head chef, Dana, responding, We see different. What are you going to look to put into that? Easy way to describe that is going to be real food. <laughs> it seems like this has all the right ingredients to be the perfect resurrection for Caspinita, the fans had hoped for. Well, I hope that they can just make this place better than it already is. I mean, it's already an amazing restaurant, but you know, the employees here are the lifeblood of Casa Bonita, and we hope that can continue. And it looks like it's almost ready, considering Trey Parker was recently spotted there with his family. Very exciting for South Park fans and lovers of Caspinita. I think everyone knows the potential of what yeah. that place can be, and, and, and we certainly do, and... and I think it's going to be an awesome place. Welcome again to my 300th visit to Casa Bonita. This is the 300th meal right here. Some guy shit on your tomato. Consider subscribing if enjoying the content. And remember, one lucky subscriber will win a Tweak and Craig. Thanks for watching.